the Parliamentary Sectoral Committee on Social Services visited several health facilities in Region 6 earlier today. More in this report. The Parliamentary Sectoral Committee on Social Service left Region 4 to conduct several visits at the major health facilities in Region 6 today, July 20, 2022. The team was accompanied by Dr. Vindya Prasad, the Minister of Human Services and Social Security, Member of Parliament Dr. Vishwa Mahadio, and former minister within the Ministry of Health, Dr. Karen Cummings. They visited the health facilities in Port Morant, followed by the New Amsterdam Hospital, and finally the New Amsterdam Psychiatric Hospital, where they observed the conditions and operations of the facilities and interacted with the members of staff. Dr. Vindya Prasad spoke with media operatives and explained the purpose of the team's visit. Today we are here as part of the Social Sector Committee for Parliament. Um, I am the Vice Chair of that committee. And this is the usual program of activities. And this program would have been set even during the COVID time. But because of COVID, we weren't able to do all that we are doing. So we are out now. This is the first outing. And we have come to look at the operations of various Region 6 entities under the umbrella of health. So we went to Port Moran facilities, the ophthalmology facility, health center, hospital, New Amsterdam, and we have been given a very good tour, and we've been accompanied by the RHO, and here and also by the CEO and other regional officials as an entire team. Following the visits, Minister Prasad was happy to report that she is satisfied with healthcare delivery in Region 6. So far, if I can venture to say, that it has been very, very enlightening, especially to me, to see the progressive modernizing of the Region 6 facilities and the addition of so many new services. The one that I think, for me, was on top of the list is the fact that people can get CT scans for nothing, for absolutely free. People can actually do walk-ins and bring their request for CT scan and have that CT scan done and CT scan turnovers are so short. Member of Parliament Dr. Mahadio also disclosed these details with media operatives. There have been additional things that were done here. There have been additional infrastructural works and um, whilst there is always room for improvement, there is always room for more services. We have the dialysis going and we know that we remember that the government is giving $600,000 per patient per year for dialysis. Here they are already catering for over, I think, 23 patients. As we speak today, we saw about four of them and they are receiving their treatment. They also have improved laboratory services. They have Im improved accidents and emergency services that they are offering. They have more surgeries, scope of surgeries that they are offering. Um, and we are looking to build on that. We are looking, for example, to have to set up a laparoscopic suite here where they could do these things. We have the persons who are trained here already. When asked if he was satisfied with what he saw today, Dr. Mahadio said, Not rich in a lot of cases where we were in 2014. And uh, until we surpass that, my answer is going to remain no. Right? Well, the records of the number of home-based care patients that we had, when we left in 2015, we had 1,432 such patients that were on the care. We don't have that, all of that was destroyed. Um, and whilst I am happy with the improvements that we are providing, the new services that are being done, that have, are being offered, but we still have to catch up there. And after we catch up there, then this is going to look good. So we got to build back that base and move up. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.